I heard a couple jokes earlier, so I thought I would uh, start with one, but uh, like with a, a, jo a joke about UDP, but I wasn't sure if you would get it, so we'll just leave the joke to the side and start off with my very quick pitch uh, about two Wireshark courses uh, that Jerome and I have been working on since probably early fall last year, and we are uh, finished with content creation, and uh, we are recording uh, next week. So there's two separate courses uh, on informit.com. This is a Pearson company. Um, targeted at network administrators, IT pros, uh, analysts, anybody really that wants to dig into protocol analysis. Because you know, Wireshark is nice because it's a free tool, but at the same time, you know, you're using it for troubleshooting and whatnot. But you can also use it to really learn a lot about networking, you know, regardless if it's Wi-Fi protocol, uh, AOTL 11, or if it's just, uh, to GT's point, ARP, you know, you can, you can use uh, Wireshark for it. So the tar target audience is really anybody beginner through advanced that wants to dig deeper into protocol analysis with a free tool. <clears throat> so the first course is Wireshark Fundamentals, and this is actually the second course that we, we worked on because the very first one, then the idea was, let's do a course on wireless, uh, Wireshark for wireless. And we start getting into it, and each of these courses is about five hours of video, video mentoring. Um, and we got all the way through uh, a good bit of the content, and they came back and they said, well, this is really great, but it's kind of deep. Uh, there's not an intro course. So could you do an intro course? I'm like, all right. So we started working on Wireshark Fundamentals. And so this is everything from how to capture, set up capture filters, display filters, and we, we talk about all, all platforms. So we talk about uh, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. Going through personalizing the interface, standard protocol exchanges, DNS, DHCP, HTTP, et cetera. Um, and then we get a little bit deeper, uh, statistics. Um, and then uh, a lot with the command line, because uh, there's a ton that you can do with the command line when your capture files start to get to a, a point where they're really large. Some of the stuff I work on routinely, files might be a gig or more. Um, and T-Shark, uh, as we've seen from Brian uh, this week, uh, T-Shark can make quick work of those. So we dig into that quite a bit. Um, and then advanced analysis, uh, exporting for use in Excel and in gra and graphing. We, we, we use the IO graphs and top talkers, conversations, those kinds of things in the uh, rest of the course. But then sometimes you might want to export and crunch the numbers in Excel. Um, and uh, Drome also covers Octave, which is a free statistical package. And if you happen to use MATLAB, um, he'll, he'll go into that just briefly as well. So incidentally, this is a uh, this chart here on the side is just uh, uh, I use the MetaGeek colors. Shout out to Joel Crane and the folks at MetaGeek. Thank you for the, the colors; they're great. Uh, but this is just an example of one of the graphs that we we look at. The purple is management frames. So this particular graph came from a PCAP file where there was just way too many SSIDs on the network. So there's an awful lot of management traffic uh, in comparison to data and whatnot. So after the fundamentals course. Uh, there is a Wireshark for wireless LANs course. And again, there's a little bit more set up here. You can take both courses. They're, they're not uh, a ton of overlap, but some. Um, so we, we wanted to cover how to set up uh, in, in this one as well. <clears throat> and then we talked specifically about configuring for WLAN analysis using uh, profiles. Um, but we, we dig into layer one and layer two so that folks understand the FI and understand uh, the MAC header and whatnot how is contention arbitration and uh, def the deferral process. We spent a lot of time on nav distribution uh, because uh, that, that is uh, definitely something that can bite you if you're, you're not uh, aware of it. And then we look at uh, dissecting a frame in Wireshark all the way through all stacks of the OSI model. Um, after that, there's a few sections on uh, what we call common symptoms, and we just broke them down as easily as we could uh, to can't connect, slow connection, can't stay connected, those types of things, which is tantamount of you know, roaming problems, uh, problems in the state machine, um, and whatnot. Uh, finally, uh, we get into some more advanced statistical analysis and pattern recognition. So if you were doing a capture and you, you had like a hex view, for example, and you wanted to search for you know, is there a, in an SMB capture if you're looking for uh, the file signature for a PCAP NG file? So 0A, 0D, 0D, 0A. How do you find those files and then pull them out and see what was transferred across the network? So this is the second course. Uh, the courses will be uh, tentatively released in June. 
Uh, the f good folks at Pearson uh, suggested if you would like, you can sign up for their newsletter to find out more about that. Um, I put this uh, last bullet on there if you wanted to. I, I, I was hoping that I wouldn't get flooded with, with emails, but uh, they, they are allowing me to, to offer an author discount. But Keith, you did say that maybe when it comes out that Keith would just email the group. So if you prefer that, that's fine as well. So anyway, I apologize that it's an advertisement, but uh, you know, Keith and I chatted, and he thought that maybe it was OK to talk about. So well, I think it's great stuff. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, a couple questions. You said they're, they're both about five hours long a piece? Yeah. yeah so, well, we haven't recorded yet, but that's the target. It'll probably go so long. So if someone dedicated two days, they would be as good at Wireshark as you? Probably more. OK, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's, it's fantastic to be able to, to run Wireshark and, and see what's going on in the packets. And it's one of those things that not everyone learns it right away. So well, I would, uh, I would like to shout out to Rick Murphy because I've spent about the last five, five or six years working with him. And all the way back from the very first worksheet, he said, go find me what the, uh, the hexadecimal representation for a type subtype of a beacon is. And I've been in love with packet analysis ever since. So thank you, Rick. Oh, great.